Being experts on Trader Workstation is important at Maverick Trading. All Maverick traders use Trader Workstation to place their stock and option trades and have been doing that for 12 plus years. Our traders need to be perfect on the platform as they trade our capital and keep 70 to 80% of the profits they generate. We're happy to release some of our TWS training to the public as we know TWS can be an intimidating software. If you're ready to become a professional stock and option trader, click on the application link in the description below. Now on to our TWS tutorial. All right, so to understand Interactive Brokers market data, you can come in and look at some of their data fees. Remember that when you're paying for data, you're paying for quotes. Now there's quotes for a variety of different products, stock quotes, option quotes, Forex quotes, and so forth. So there are subscriptions that you can sign up for. First, there's a minimum account balance in order to have market data. So individual accounts, you'd have to have at least $500 in your account and on down the line. As we look at the data, there are also waivers. So for security snapshot and futures bundle, if this is a personal account, you would pay $10 per month However, if you generate $30 in commissions for the month, then that fee is waived. Same thing for other data points. So as you generate trading commissions, you can have your data waived personally. In professional trading accounts, we have to pay for data a little bit different. You'll notice there's professional versus non-professional. Professionals have to pay for data that's one of the requirements, basically, and this data is not paid. Remember, this really doesn't go to the broker, per se. A lot of the data costs go directly to the exchange. So we're paying the CBOE, or we're paying the CME, or we're paying these different exchanges for the data that they provide. Trading currencies, getting currency quotes, there is no fee. Whether you're a non-pro or a pro, no fee for currency quotes. Now, as we get into other quotes, you'll see that there are potentially fees or, you know, potentially a lot of fees depending on what you're trading. As a professional, if you want equity and option quotes, so you want stock and option quotes, you would pay $125 per month. And in order to be a professional, of course, that means that you meet certain requirements. If you have a Series 7 license and all these sorts of things, you would be a professional. If you are looking at it from the standpoint of you just went out and opened your own account as an individual and you're not regulated, you don't have securities licenses, all those sorts of things, you would fall under the non-pro category. You would pay $10 per month for stock and futures quotes. You can get other add-on items. You can see if you want bond ratings, it's $3 for either one. Uh, on down the list it goes. If you just wanted option quotes as a trading professional, so not uh, stock quotes, just the options, you can get those for $32.75 per month as a trading professional. On the individual side, you could also get that same bundle for $1.50 per month. So there are costs, but Interactive Brokers basically has almost everything imaginable is available to you as a quote. Some of it is free, some of it you would pay for, depending on whether you're a professional or a non-professional, there's different costs associated with that. And now let me wrap up with maybe the most important point. A lot of this is unnecessary. You don't have to sign up for all of these different things. Most people need a stock quote from somewhere, an option quote from somewhere. Well, guess what? There are free services that offer free quotes. You could go on to uh, a lot of different things. In fact, our traders use FinViz Pro and so forth that we provide for them. Well, they can get free stock quotes from there. They don't have to pay to get these stock quotes. So some of this is unnecessary. If you're an individual opening an account at Interactive Brokers, you should probably assume that you're going to pay about $10 per month that would be waived if you're generating trading commissions. And then as you get more advanced, if it happens to be that you want to trade other 
assets and other you need quotes for a variety of different things well maybe you could go into that in the future and there may be a little added cost associated with that at the very top you can see that you can test a lot of these things so you could try out the platform for free without setting up an account and do some things that way if you still have questions. Hope you enjoyed this video, learning a little bit more about interactive brokers and any fees associated with getting market data. We'll see you next time. <music>